Hey, so I'm going to show you how to use a tool in Procreate called the color drop threshold. It's kind of like a setting on how you fill any given shape. And there's actually two problems it solves, which are pretty common. The first one is, so you see the circle here, um, the line is almost complete in the center here. And so if I try and just drag in here, it fills the whole thing, which is really annoying. So you can actually, if you look at the top, you see this thing called color drop threshold. I'm holding down um, my pencil. I haven't quite let go yet. And so you can actually move your pencil left and right to adjust this threshold. And what that does is the lower the threshold, the more generous it is regarding those lines. So you could actually kind of like move it all the way to the top or move it all the way to the bottom. And right around here, you'll see I found a threshold that a minimum threshold basically that allows it to actually fill in that shape. Now you can see that it's still got those weird outlines and things like that. So that's kind of a trade-off is you you can usually do this if there's a really tiny gap, but if the gap's pretty big like this and lines are pretty big, you can end up seeing this. <clears throat> and that's kind of the second problem that you can take a look at. So if you have actually a complete shape, like the one on the right here, and you're filling it in, you'll see that these weird sort of lines show up. And now you know why. It's because the threshold is low, so it's trying to sort of reach outside and fill in. But if you don't need that, you don't need any help, you know, because the lines are all solid, then you can move the threshold all the way to the maximum. And, and you might need to kind of bring your pencil the other way around. And if I do it to 100%, obviously it's gonna fill the whole thing, but I don't need to go that high. But now I can see that there's uh, none of the little white things. And that's how you can use color drop threshold.